Okay, in this video, um, I'll show you a solution to a, a problem with loading um, uh, Windows 7 onto a Windows 8 machine. Um, and I think a lot of machines have this, this problem initially. Um, people get frustrated because they can't load the uh, operating system. Uh, so this machine is a Toshiba. Um, and it uh, previously had Windows 8 installed on it, but um, you know I'm not a big fan of Windows 8. Um, so I won't put. I purchased a copy of um, of Windows 7 here uh, from Toshiba. I want to be installing that. Now I had a problem with it, but I figured out a solution um, in order to bypass um, where you have difficult difficulty installing Windows 8. This particular Toshiba is a Toshiba uh, L855. All right, so I'll go ahead and turn this on. Okay. Now I'll load my disk up in here. So as of right now I got a new hard drive in there, so it says no bootable device. Okay. So when I turn it on, I'll press F12 to load from the DVD player, which has my Windows 7 disk in it. Okay, so when I choose the option of which um, place I want to download it from, of course I'll choose CD. When I press enter, it won't let me. Um, if it's got, if the LAN is activated, it'll keep saying media fail, media fail, media fail. Um, so I found out a bypass to that. And what you do, you go into BIOS by hitting F. Two on most computers. Then you go to um, then you go to security, and then you scroll down to secure boot. Now it's enabled now, and what you want to do is disable. Now before I show you that, um, what you're trying to do is, in system configuration, you're trying to change the the UEFI boot, boot under boot mode, um, but you'll notice that it doesn't have an option to where you can select it. So when I go to uh, system configure, let's see, when I go to system secure boot, and uh, what you do is you disable it. By doing that, you could then go back into cons uh, system configuration, and then now you can see there it's it's highlighted. Now you can change the UEFI boot to CSM mode boot, and that's where you want to go to. Okay. All right. So that's saved. Now let's try booting back from uh, the DVD drive. All right, now choose enter, and there you go. Starting to load the uh, the Windows 7 disk. All right, I hope that helps.